Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be looking into how to use a joystick and control the movement of the AR object we spawned. In this case, as you see, I'm controlling the spider's movement using a joystick on screen. Today's example is an extension to my previous videos. Uh, I'll post the link in the description and also try to attach relevant scripts. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So basically, what we will be doing today is to create a canvas, add an image as a gamepad, then add in another image as a joystick. Then the joystick will work like when it's dragged up, the object moves up similarly for left, right and down. And importantly, it goes back to the zero position if no touch or drag is detected. So as you see, the aim is to control the movement of the object in this fashion using a simple joystick. Coming back to Unity, let's see how to achieve this. So here we have the same project opened up which we used last week. If you haven't checked out the tap to shoot video, check out in the description or click the i button. Moving on, let's use the scene as a template and save it as spider walk. Now we don't need this shoot script for, for today's example. In the AR placement script, you see there's a missing field that's because we deleted the shoot script or game object now let's first edit this ar placement script this is the same script which we have been using since the first video i keep modifying it as and when it suits my project at the moment we will just comment out the shoot bits rest is fine save and close now let's check the spider so it's got a spider animator controller in it which if you have seen the previous videos, it simply does a push up, up, push up when spawned. What we need is movement now. So let's create a new animator controller and call it spider walk and then assign it. Then let's check the animation the spider came with. This is the idle animation. This is the walk animation. Let's take them out by pressing Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on Mac. Let's unlock here and add the idle animation first and then the jump animation. Oh sorry, the walk animation. Now to configure these animations to play correctly, let's add a little logic. Head up to the parameter and add a bool, a boolean and call it walk. Make a transition from idle to walk. Click on the arrow and tick off the exit time and drag the bar to the beginning. Then add a condition to walk as true. Then the same thing backwards from walk to idle. Again remove exit time and the same timing just the condition would be false in this case. Save scene and apply the changes to the prefab. Delete the spider from the hierarchy. Now let's make a gamepad and joystick, it's really simple. Add a canvas first, change its setting to scale with screen size, then add an image which will become our gamepad. So as usual, Flat, Flat Icon is my preferred website and you can get your icons from here. This is the ring and circle. Download a white one so that we can add color in Unity. Add them to your project by making a UI folder. Select both and make their texture type as Sprite 2D and UI. In the gamepad, add the ring and make the width and height as 300. Add another image inside the gamepad by adding an image in it. Make its width 200 by 200 and use the color red or any one you prefer just to make it a bit stand out. We don't need the joystick in the center so just bring it down. Call this a joystick. Save your scene. Now on the joystick we'll attach a script for the joystick control and the air object in the scene movement control. In this case a spider movement control. Let's call the script spider movement and open it up. Delete the comments and start by adding variables we'll need. 
Let's first get the rec transform of the gamepad. We need to control the joystick relative to the position of the gamepad. The game object AR object, the character we will control and a vector 3 move and we need move speed as well. Then a boolean to check the walking animation. In the start method, let's first find the game object with tag spider as you remember we had a tag on the spider last week. So now we need to move the joystick by touch and drag. So alongside mono behavior, we will also use eye pointer and dragging classes. Let's first import the event systems package on the top. Then add the eye drag handler, eye pointer up handler and eye pointer download handler. Now to fix these red lines, simply click on potential fixes, which when clicked on implement interface should add a related function we will use later. Remove the unnecessary commands from these three functions. Now in the drag function, make the transform.position equals event data dot position and transform.local position equals vector2.clap magnitude, which is the difference between the event data position and the gamepad position. Then assign move to transform.local position x, y, and z and keep the y as zero as the movement will happen in two axes only. Normalize them as well. Then check if not walking, then assign walking as true and on the AR object, track its animator and make the boolean walk as true. Basically, on drag, start the walking animation from idle. Now in the pointer up section, make the transform location get back to zero. That's basically returning the joystick to its normal position. Then even the move vector is zeroed, mark walking as false. Now in the pointer down section, let's do the movement. Let's cut and paste the start function at the top as it doesn't feel good at the bottom. Now for the movement, let's create a coroutine player movement. Add a while loop and make the AR object translate using the move speed in the space dot world. Then check if the move is not equal to zero. And then for the orientation, we will use slurp to smoothly move from AR object or transform dot rotation to the target rotation, which is looked after using quaternion dot look rotation in the move direction then add a time you want this rotation to happen which i've used as time delta time dot delta time times five this is the one i tested and worked just fine let's correct this here now return null for this core routine and format this use this core routine for player movement now on pointer down start core routine and pointer up stop the score routine. Now coming back to Unity, save scene and in empty field attach the gamepad. Let's edit the AR placement script. What we'll do is to view this gamepad and joystick only when the AR object is in scene. So simply set active true and false. That's it. Save the script. Back to Unity, just check the spider. I made it 0.1 in scale earlier, ensure the tag is correct and switch off the canvas as it appears on screen at the very right moment. Now build settings, add open scenes and in player settings, change the product name if you want, connect your device. Few things before your build which I missed out. In the controller, add the canvas in the AR placement script. Then I missed out a line to set the parameter walk as false in the on pointer up section. Lastly on line 29, I found that it should be transform.local position instead of position, which did make the joystick misbehave relative to the gamepad. These were the bits to be changed and then go ahead and build. So this is how it looks like to control spider's movement using touch controls in AR using AR foundation. Great. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, as I'll be posting Unity related videos, possibly every week, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you and peace.